What's going on guys? This is James here again. So, you know how we discovered that my charge pipe was bent and, you know, damaged to hell. I have contacted AEM about it and they've been super awesome. They are going to send me a new charge pipe provided that I completely destroy the old one. I have the charge pipe out and from here I am going to just cut it in half with a Dremel and that should satisfy their needs. So after that part, since I am tuned for the charge pipe, I'm gonna throw a coupler on it and then just tighten it down so that way it'll, you know, like do me over until the new pipe comes, which should be a couple days. I don't plan on going into boost before I, uh, I get the new pipe anyway, so that shouldn't be a big deal. As long as it holds like the vacuum pressure and maybe a couple pounds. Shouldn't be too concerned about it. So yeah, that's the process going on here. At this point, I'm just about to uh, go ahead and start cutting the pipe. So here we go. Oh, here goes nothing. Oh boy. If this doesn't work out, I have the stock charge pipe, but I'd have to relocate my bypass valve, which I really don't feel like doing. So this should work. can see it's now in half. Woo. I'll probably just go back in with a little sanding bit and uh, try and clean up uh, these cuts and then I'll get the coupler on there and then I can throw it back on the car and hopefully it'll be good. So yeah, here we go. Okay guys, so I have the charge pipe installed again. I have the coupler on there and that's tightened down. Everything's tightened down. Um, I just have to plug in the fan and then everything should be good to go. Here's what it looks like. Again, I won't be, you know, beating on the car obviously while I have this homemade makeshift patch job done, so peace. Hey guys, so the new charge pipe has arrived from AEM in the mail. Um, I just got off work and it's here at the house so that's pretty cool. Also, a little teaser here but the wheels are on the car and they look fantastic but that'll be a different video so stay tuned for that because that's gonna be dope. Let's go check out this new charge pipe. Here we go. Curly. There seems to be a cat on my box. Curly cat. Hey, Carly. Watch out. Sorry, I have to evict you. A knife might be uh, helpful. Carly, get off. Go. You can have the box after I'm done. We got lots of bubble wrap. This is how he sent it to me. Sent it in a thing of, oh, that's scary. Well, here we go. It definitely looks better than what it was, that's for sure. Here we go, let's have a look see. Man, ADM is just not the best about that, right? Still a little off. That's crazy. I didn't learn how to weld bins and cracks and nothing of that sort. I might have to take a little Dremel in there and just kind of, you know, actually file down that hole. So overall, I'm happy with it. Um, looks better than what it was, that's for sure. Hopefully it'll fit fine, but it looks like it should. Um, I've actually thought about painting this red and getting the Boomba red bypass valve to mount on top of it. I think that would look pretty cool. At this point, I guess it's over to the garage for paint and then eventually it'll be on the car. So here we go. So over here on the paint side, we just have to scuff up the surface paint and then I'll do a couple coats of engine enamel primer and then some red and then some some gloss on top. This shouldn't take too terribly long. So here we go.
Hey guys, so um, I've just gone ahead and used um, about, what was it, like 400 grit sandpaper or so to just kind of scuff up the surface and just make it nice and, and matte. Um, and from here, you just want to go ahead and spray on your primer, which I'm going to do maybe you know, one or two light coats. And after that, everything will be good. Um, also, I apologize about the, the mess here in the garage. Um, yeah, I have to clean that up. Anyways, so on to painting. Okay guys, so um, now I have primer done and I'll be just going ahead and using the high heat engine enamel red paint. So here we go. Now that the charge pipe is completely dry, we can go ahead and install it back on the car. Um, it's the same process as taking off the old one. A couple bolts and unhook the bypass valve, swap them, you're good to go. So, here we go.
Okay guys, as you can see, the new Char Track looks incredible in red. Happy I chose that, but as always, I appreciate the likes, comments, share, subscribes, all that stuff. Check out our other videos and stay tuned.